the giant sky with its scenic surroundings offers a diversity of species to target. From big non-edible species like shark species including grey sharks, bronze whalers, raggedoof sharks to mention but a few. Also on the flatfish site you can often get your arms stretched properly. Edible species like mussel cracker, gary and cob also show their faces from time to time. The Transcar also offers the opportunity for anglers to explore a diversity of targeting methods. Good morning guys, we're here at Sharks Point in this wonderful morning. Uh, we've got quite a strong southwesterly wind, the cold front seems to have moved through. Um, we left Mazepa Bay Hotel this morning uh, at like half or six and came out here, we put out some bait with a kite and the southwest wind, so we got quite a nice tack on the kites to get them out at a decent angle. Um, so you put out some good baits, it'll last a while out there and we're going to see what happens. Conditions aren't exactly favourable, but we're going to give it all we've got, like we do all the time. So you guys, we'll check you soon. The Jotskar Hills can often also be enjoyed by other sport enthusiasts. Another lovely day at Mazepa. Today, because there's too much wind, we decided to come here by Shark Point and we're fishing here at the bottom. We're doing some scratching, you can hardly feel the wind. This is what we have here as bait. Muscle worm so far has been working well. As you can, as you saw that uh, um, there's one guy that already got the stone brim. So we'll try again and see what else can, can come out. From droning, to cutting, to sliding, to casting, to throwing a popper, to throwing lures, you name it, you can do it in the Transcar. Right guys, we're here just down the rocks from Sharks Point. We got here this morning, we put out some baits on the kites of the sharks um, with a southwesterly wind. Uh, but it's, really got, it's gotten really strong, the swell's picking up a lot. The water's turning a bit greener though, so the garret might pull through. I hope and the water starting to warm up a little bit slowly. So hopefully by tomorrow we can find a Garrick. Um, but I was trying my luck now to see if I could find a Garrick. And uh, yeah, my favorite setup to use for them is probably this uh, my, my Dow XLA 11 foot 6 and my Saltiga 4500H. I also use this reel for my, all my tuna fishing as well. Honestly, it's a little beast of a reel. I love it. It's bulletproof, you know? So guys, I just got this bite now. We're fishing in Gale 4 South Westerly winds. Yeah, she took off a bit strange, but now she's going. Feels like a good fish. Let's see. I'm gonna try my best to get her out. Give it everything I've got. I thought it was a raggy. It's not a raggy. But I'm thinking I might know the culprit. Tyron Bain soon realized that this fish was gonna put him through his paces. See if we can stop her first. I think I'm going to be here for a long time. Now these heels can be very tricky in fighting a fish and you do have to be careful and keep your balance when you run up and down these heels. And of course, true team spirit with Jeremy and Andrew following Tyron as he follows his fish. Now Tyron has to face a couple of elements. Firstly, the strong wind, the strong fighting beast on the other side, and the element of thirst. So guys, we're about, I don't know what, three and a half hours, four hours in. She's sitting behind the back of the bank. Finally, Tyron got this fish over the lip, and man, what a surprise.
bit around 350 kilos, so, so tough, and I could not have done it without Andrew. Thanks, Andrew, for helping me land that fish. Thank you. Uh, honestly, what a beast. The right tackle, now at Lever Drag Dogfight, Saltiga Dogfight, and the uh, Saltis 8 to 12 ounce, right tackle to pull these fish, 65 pound J brain, and a 12 ounce demon circle, and all sorts of. So, yeah, guys, so tough for that fish to see if we can get some more. I think we're going to head back to the Zephyr Hotel now, grab a drink, grab a chow, and be back in the morning. So, thanks, Andrew. It was fun. Yo, enjoyed it. And I'm uh, really, I've been told, wind is terrible, but we managed to make it. Extreme conditions, thanks extreme fishing. Him. And thanks to you. Thank you, Andrew. Woo! Yes, What a beast. Yes. <laughs> So if you are thinking of making your way down to Mazeppa Bay, be sure to make your booking at Mazeppa Bay Hotel and get the full Transkai angling experience. From ASFN, we would like to wish you a Merry Christmas and thank you for your support throughout the year. Remember to click on the bell icon if you would like to get notifications on when new content is loaded and of course remember to subscribe.